All right, everybody, welcome back to my three-in-one birthday special for Scott Winder, Jody Benson, and Henry Winkler, in which we're going to be playing a game on the PC, and we will be playing Blockbusters, a very fun game, if you ask me. Let's see how it goes. No, I want to... There we go. Kill the music. Get ready for our game of skill and strategy. A very fun game. Yeah, I'll go to a different channel and get that name in there. Okay. I'll be green because that's my favorite color of the computer player. There's the letters of the alphabet. Alright, connect five blocks on the board up and down, across or diagonally, or get 13 of the 25 on the board of your color. You get a block if your color of your color if you answer correctly. The letter we're gonna be starting off with is the letter F. Okay? Hands on the buzzers. Here we go. We want a what F is a tree found in the Mediterranean that produces pear-shaped fleshy fruit that is edible when mature in a common flavor of the fruitcake called Newton's. Fig. He's right. Yep. I'll choose the letter G. Now we want to know what G is a bright colored flower similar to a daisy, but is a member of the sunflower family named after German naturalist Trogott Gerber. Goldenrod? No. It's not a goldenrod. Green flower? No, that's wrong. The flower we're looking for was a Gerbera or Gerbera. Gerbera. I don't know how you say it, but either way, nobody got that one right. We'll try another question of an answer that begins with the letter G. Okay? Let's try this one. What G is the elite sport with the course, clubs, balls, and holes that Adam Sandler in the movie Happy Gilmore played to win back his grandma's house? Golf. Is right. I've seen Happy Gilmore many, many times. W. Okay. What W is usually worn because its fibers are non-conductive of heat and this sheep skin and meshes still air and is very absorbent? Wool. That is correct. Okay. J. What J was patented by John Landis Mason in 1858 as he came up with this glass container with a screw on zinc lid on top? Jar. Was right. And for the ground, I. What I. Is the University Athletic League founded in 1954 and shares its name with a poisonous vine plant, Ivy? You got it! So I have $1,000 and I've won one game. If I can win one more game, I go on to the bonus round. And, I only, and it only took me five blocks, even though we got one question wrong, but that's okay. Okay, here we go. And now lead the match one game to none. Let's load the letters of the alphabet up on the board, please. Thank you. And the letter we're going to start this round with is the letter T. Okay? Here is my first question for the round. What T are the unusual pole-like objects made by Native American that have carved faces of different animals and humans along with wigs, legs, and our arms? Totem. Was right. Okay. L. Okay. What L is the most popular brand of antiseptic mouthwash named after its inventor, Joseph Lister? Listerine. Is right. Okay. I'll choose the letter R. What R is the Central African country? 
where its old flag was red, yellow, and green with the capital R in the middle, but has been given a new flag and is where Kigali is the capital. Uh, Rwanda. That is correct. And E. What E was the name of the friendly Hazard County police officer played by Sonny Schroyer on the Dukes of Hazard? Earl? No, it's about Earl. Unless I capitalize, unless I accidentally capitalize the A. Let's find out. Enos? That is correct. Okay. I never watched the Dukes of Hazard, to be honest. Okay, letter W. Let's try that one. What W lies below the Niagara Falls and noted for its violent spinning and massive volume that was caused by irregularity in the Niagara Channel? Don't know. It's not Winnipeg, because that's in Manitoba. Water? No. Both missed that one. The answer was Whirlpool. Okay. Nobody got that one right. Let's try another W question. Hands on the buzzer. Listen carefully. What W? What W? Lies below the Niagara Falls. Okay. <laughs> we get the same question, so there we go. I don't need to read it. He's right. I'll choose a K. Now we don't know what K achieved independence from Great Britain in 1963 and is the East African country where Nairobi is the capital. Kenya. That is correct. Good. Give me the letter C. What C has an ingredient called 7X and is the world's most popular soft drink? Uh, Coca-Cola. That is correct. Last clue. A. For the game, what A is the bird you get when you score three strokes under par in a hole of golf? Albatross. $2,200 is what I've won so far. And that twenty two hundred dollars I have is mine to keep. Well, it's for Scott, uh, Jody, and Henry. They get to keep that amount no matter what happens. But let's go win them the bonus round. Let's go win the bonus round. Here's the root. We're gonna play Gold Run for five thousand dollars. So if I win the five grand, that'll be seven thousand two hundred dollars. I rack up for them. Okay. All right, let's do this. Do that successfully in less than 90 seconds. You will win $5,000. Am I ready to do this? I'm ready. I'm going to start with RB. Clock will start when you select your first question. Okay, RB. He's television. It's Perry Mason. Uh, misspelled it. Raymond Burr. Correct. Pick again. AL. Young Canadian female singer who recorded the hit Skater Boy. Avril Lavigne. Correct. Pick again. J.A. American president who served diplomatic roles for France and Holland during the Revolutionary War. Um, John Adams. Correct. Pick again. W.T.B. 19 days of comedy starring Tony Danza as a housekeeper. I love this show. Who's the boss? No, that's incorrect. Pick again, please. Oh, well, it's okay. T.C.P. Oprah Winfrey made her debut in this 19 day five flick with Danny Glover and Whoopi Goldberg. The color purple. Correct. Pick again. M.L. Bugs Bunny voice actor known as the Man of a Thousand Voices. Mel Blanc. Correct. Pick again. USG. American Civil War hero who became the US 18th U.S. President. Ulysses S. Grant. Correct. Pick again. AA. Town that is the home to the University of Michigan. Ann Arbor. $5,000. Yes! $7,200 is what I win this game. And I knew it was who's the boss. Did I forget to put the question mark? Let's find out. Find out if I did indeed forget to put the question mark. But as we do that, let's go ahead and get the ending key music going, please. Oh, I, I've i included the apostrophe and I wasn't supposed to. That's okay. See you all for that next game, everybody.